Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know if he's still awake because I can't see you. <laughs> okay, so this is a road poem and it starts up uh, in Northumberland. Uh, it doesn't get quite as far as you, uh, but the guys who are here um, from Washington, um, there's a little bit on the end for you to listen out for that bit. So this is my version of a road poem. I started out one cold grey morning from a lonesome town of Morpeth. I had three grey patches and some cardboard teeth, and I was thinking a lot about death. There was traffic building way out in front, just tarmac in the rear. It was bumper to bumper by the time it came level with Ikea. <laughs> Stuck in an old man's land between Gateshead Hill and Newcastle. I was cruising real slow near a hitchhiking guy. I knew that he'd be hassled. He was wanting to go to Durham to see the cathedral tower. I pressed the locks and I pulled away because he looked like Rutger Hell. <laughs> Sped past the Dunstan turnoff, young kid on the bridge overhead, playing on his banjo for the devil or the dead. <laughs> past a one horse town named Chesley Street, where it's rumored a man can die just for talking like a southerner while he looks you in the eye. <laughs> I see me the metal angel. Rusty in a black trash truck. But I didn't notice the bears on my tail. I was all sold out of luck. Got busted for having no brake lights and driving with my butt out of the window. They took a license and a home address, so I gave the name of John Doe. When those kids that had their fun, yeah, they turned from bears to pigs, by the way. I took me the Washington turnoff to get me somewhere out of the way. Now I've been cruising around this same roundabout for a couple of weeks now. <laughs> Don't think I'll see my home again, or the country, or the shore. So listen to me, you young folk, if adventure is on your mind. Before you go to old Washington, you town, do install the state-of-the-art dash-mounted satellite navigation system. <laughs>